Hello you people who like to make dildos from Lego. It's Sunday and I'm not letting go. A man is abducted in prison for 15 years for no reason. He's then released and he has a few days to find out who and why. Two hours of epic Korean cinema. I've never seen a movie like it. My emotional state would change so quickly. He's in prison. Okay. When we meet Odesu, he's drunk and at a police station. So he must have done something for a 15 year stay. Released and the search for the truth begins. But first, the restaurant. Now I had heard about this scene beforehand and I thought I would be watching thusly. I made it through, but that was fucking hard. The girl, what part of the puzzle is she? Let's see where this goes. The fight, so many opponents, one hammer. This is off the page. The final confrontation. Wait, what? No, no. This has gone way, way beyond. I don't know how to process this. And I'm sure I wasn't alone. But to remake it, you are out of your trousers and entering Bollocksville. Spike Lee is a great director. Josh Brolin is awesome. The result couldn't be anywhere near Park Chan Wook's level. In fact, this, I've been thinking about this. This is, this would be like if you exchanged Richard Donner for Richard Lester. And I'm doing a, a video about that at some point in the future. This has been picked apart like vultures to a carcass. To Americanize an Eastern masterpiece is to have nothing better on the plate. Some things are best left alone. This is brilliant storytelling amplified like a verbal adrenaline rush. Just when you think you've seen it all, someone grabs you by the face and by the end, your very soul feels like it's been on the ultimate ride. Thrilling, exhilarating, stomach churning.